Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Life on the Savannah. Come with me today as we take a closer look at life on the savannah. What is a savannah? A savannah is a type of ecosystem or environment found in different parts of the world. It is a grassy plain with scattered trees and bushes. In a savanna, the grass grows tall and thick, providing food for many grazing animals like zebras, giraffes, and antelopes. The scattered trees and bushes offer shade and homes for animals such as elephants, lions, and cheetahs. Savanna Climate Savannas have a very specific climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. During the rainy or wet season, the savanna becomes green and lush as the plants receive water. Many animals have their babies during this time, taking advantage of the abundance of food and water. However, during the dry season, there is less rain and the grasses dry up, turning golden or brown. Some animals migrate, which means to move to a different place in order to find food. Others choose to stay in the savanna, finding ways to survive until the rains return. Where in the world are savannas located? Savannas are found in several regions around the world. The largest and most well-known savannas are located in Africa, particularly in the central and eastern parts of the continent. Some countries in Africa with significant savannas include Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, and Botswana. In Northern Australia, there are tropical savannas, and in South American countries like Venezuela, Colombia, and Brazil, they too have unique ecosystems that they refer to as savannas. They boast interesting flora and fauna in this region. Africa's Big Five. The term Big Five refers to a group of five iconic and historically sought after animals found in Africa. These five animals were originally referred to as the Big Five by game hunters because of their size difficulty to hunt, and their reputations for being dangerous. Let's take a brief look at five of Africa's most iconic animals. African Elephant The African elephant is the largest land animal on Earth. It has large ears and long curved tusks. Elephants are known for their intelligence, social behavior, and their importance in African ecosystems. African Lion Lions are majestic big cats and are known as the king of the jungle. 
The males have a distinctive mane around their heads and live in social groups called prides. Lions are skilled predators and often symbolize strength and power. African Leopard Leopards are elusive and solitary big cats known for their incredible climbing abilities. They have a beautiful spotted coat, allowing them to blend into their surroundings. Leopards are skilled hunters and are adaptable in various habitats. African Buffalo The African Buffalo, also known as the Cape Buffalo, is a large and robust bovine species. It has curved horns and a reputation for being one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. African Buffaloes usually move in large herds and are known for their resilience. Rhinoceros. Africa is home to two species of rhinoceros, the black rhinoceros and the white rhinoceros. Rhinoceroses have a large horn on their nose and are known for their incredible strength. They are unfortunately endangered due to poaching. Why are savannas important? Savannas are important for many reasons. They are home to many animal and plant species. They help with climate regulation of our planet. They bring balance to the water cycle by soaking up rainwater like a sponge and slowly releasing it over time. This helps prevent floods and keeps the soil healthy. Savannas also give off moisture into the air which can make it rain in nearby areas. Savannas are also important for people. They provide grazing lands for cattle and other livestock that farmers depend on for food and resources. Savannah Conservation Humans can protect the savanna by following these three simple tips. Preserve wildlife and habitat. We should protect the animals and plants that call the savanna home. Avoid hunting endangered animals or harming their habitats. Instead, support organizations that work to conserve and protect savannas' wildlife and their habitats. Practice sustainable land use. Humans can use the savannas' resources wisely. Avoid overgrazing or cutting down too many trees as this can harm the balance of the ecosystem. Promote sustainable farming and grazing practices that allow the savanna to recover and thrive. 
reduce pollution and waste, minimize pollution that can harm the savanna, dispose of waste properly, recycle whenever possible, and avoid using harmful chemicals that can seep into the soil and water. By reducing pollution and waste, we can help keep the savanna clean and healthy for both animals and people. Remember, even small actions can make a big difference. By respecting and caring for the savanna, we can help ensure its beauty and the survival of its unique plants and animals for future generations to enjoy. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.